Welcome to this bar rails video. In this example, we're going to use this Morfit binder in order to evaluate the stability and pH variability of a set of standard formulations of morphine using a fractional design. I'll run the workflow. First, we're going to define our protocol. In this case, I'm going to be running study one, two, three. We're going to be measuring three different replicate samples to track the pH of the formulation over the course of the study. We're also then going to be measuring four replicates to measure the concentration of morphine in our samples. The next step we're going to track the individual excipients that are made up in this formulation. So here are the four components. One of the things that we're varying is the pH. We'll then set out our design. So we've got eight different groups measured at different pHs with different additives and excipients in the formulation. And this forms our fractional design that you can see represented here. We're going to run the study over a number of study days. In this case, it's going to be, I'm going to take measurements. Uh, on the 0, 7, 14, 28 and 35 days of this particular study. First thing we're going to do is measure the pH values. In this case I've pre-filled out the table. Um, we can electronically capture um, the pH data from a pH meter if required. In this case they've been manually entered. So you can see for each one of my study days my eight different formulations, I'm measuring the pH in the three replicates and calculating the mean and standard deviation across the replicates. Also going to track for each one of the varying factors, we're going to cap we're going to track the percentage of morphine left in the sample as a percentage. So here you can see the percentages that we've captured. Finally, we're going to summarize those results graphically. So we have two graphs here. The first one is tracking the pH for each one of the different eight formulations across the days of the study. And the second diagram is showing the percentage of morphine and the variability for each one of the different formulations, the eight formulations measured after 35 days of the study. Finally, I'm going to generate a report containing the raw data, which in this case is going to be the measured pHs in a table. I press the print button, we'll save it over an existing document, or we could have chosen a new one. I will run the report and then show us the report in PDF. We can control the headers, the footers, the fonts, uh, the spacing and everything in the report. I could have chosen to limit the precision as well, I haven't done in this particular report, but you can see the data is paginated and available. In this case I've only included the pH values, but I could have also included the charts and graphs. I may also wanted to have included any interpretation that I'd made inside the binder. So finally I can save the binder. And I'll also save the data back to Birels if I'm connected to Birels. And that completes this video demonstration.